This is a hugely historic moment. Vladimir Putin, in one move with this war here in Ukraine, has done the exact opposite of what he intended to do. He's effectively enabling the expansion of NATO. The Finnish president and, and prime minister have given their verdict on whether or not a country that has been historically neutral since the end of the Second World War should effectively pick sides and side with the NATO alliance. And by saying that they agree that that is what the country we should do. It paves the way for Parliament and the government to make their decision as well, which ultimately will lead to a formal application of NATO membership being made, perhaps within the next few days. Let me just read a bit from the statement where the two leaders set out their deliberations, saying how they have been thinking and discussing this internally and also with NATO allies uh, over the spring. It's a huge, monumental change in foreign policy. And they say that their, their view on NATO membership is that it would, it would strengthen Finland's security. As a member of NATO, Finland would strengthen the entire defence alliance. And it's that they say ultimately Finland must apply for NATO membership without delay. We hope that the national steps still needed to make this decision will be taken rapidly within the next few days. Now, this comes as Finland's neighbour Sweden is also thinking about taking the same step and a decision from Sweden is also expected imminently. Both countries incredibly alarmed by the fact that Russia has chosen to invade Ukraine, also alarmed by Russia's rhetoric in, re in recent months saying that no other country can join NATO, saying that anything that, that they do, and this is what the Finnish uh, president said yesterday, is actually a direct consequence of Russia's actions, with the Finnish president effectively telling Vladimir Putin to look in the mirror and realise that he, well, that this, his actions, Russia's actions, is the cause of what is happening in Finland and also potentially in Sweden.